Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss areas. First let's recall the formula for the area of different plain closed figures. Like we know that area of a rectangle is equal to length into the breadth of the rectangle. Then we have area of a square is equal to side of the square into side of the square. That is you can see the side square. Then next we have area of a triangle. This is equal to half into base into height. Then next is area of a parallelogram is equal to the base into height. Then we have Area of a circle is equal to pi into radius square. Next we have area of a trapezium. Consider this trapezium ABCD in which we have that AB is parallel to CD. And AB is of length A and CD is of length B and the distance between these two parallel sides is H. So we have area of the trapezium ABCD is equal to half into the sum of the parallel sides into the perpendicular distance between the two parallel sides. So we write area of trapezium is equal to half into sum of the parallel sides into the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides. Now let's consider this trapezium ABCD where we are given that AB is of length 5 cm, CD is of length 3 cm and the distance between the two parallel sides AB and CD is 2 cm. So we have area of trapezium ABCD is equal to half into the sum of the two parallel sides that is 3 plus 5 into the distance between the two parallel sides which is 2. This is equal to half into 8 into 2. This is equal to 8 centimeters square is the area of the trapezium ABCD. Next formula that we consider is area of a general quadrilateral consider this general quadrilateral ABCD this can be split into two triangles by drawing one of its diagonals. So as you can see we have drawn the diagonal AC. Now we have drawn the perpendiculars from the point B and D on the diagonal AC. And these perpendiculars are of length H1 and H2. Now this diagonal AC divides this quadrilateral ABCD into two triangles. Triangle ACD and triangle ABC. So area of the quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle ACD plus the area of triangle ABC. And we already know how we find the area of a triangle. So on doing this we get the formula for the area of a general quadrilateral which is equal to half into D into H1 
plus H2, where you know that H1, H2 are the lengths of the perpendiculars from the two vertices of the quadrilateral on the diagonal AC of the quadrilateral ABCD and this D is the length of the diagonal AC. So this is the formula that we use to find the area of a general quadrilateral. Consider quadrilateral ABCD in which we have the lengths of the perpendiculars as 2.5 cm and 1.5 cm. That is you can say that H1 is equal to 2.5 cm and H2 is equal to 1.5 cm. And the length of the diagonal AC is equal to 6 cm. That is we have D is equal to 6 cm. So now area of the quadrilateral ABCD is equal to half into D that is 6 into H1 plus H2. This is equal to half into 6 into 4 which is equal to 12 cm square. Next we have area of a rhombus. Consider this rhombus ABCD. Now its diagonal AC divides it into two triangles. Triangle ACD and triangle ABC. So we say that area of the rhombus ABCD is equal to area of triangle ACD plus area of triangle ABC. On doing this we get the area of a rhombus is equal to half into D1 into D2 that is you can say that half into product of its diagonals. That is we have that D1 and D2 are the lengths of the diagonals of the rhombus. Like for this rhombus ABCD we have AC is equal to 6 cm, BD is equal to 4 cm. That is we have D1 is 6 cm and D2 is 4 cm. So the area of the rhombus ABCD is equal to half into D1 into D2 which is equal to 12 cm square. In the same way we can find the area of any polygon by dividing it into triangles. For example, let's consider this pentagon ABCDE. We shall now construct its diagonals. We have drawn its two diagonals AC and EC. So these two diagonals divide this pentagon ABCDE into three triangles. Triangle AEC, triangle BEC and triangle ABC. So we have that the area of the pentagon ABCDE is equal to the sum of the areas of its triangles that is area of triangle AEC plus area of triangle DEC plus area of triangle ABC. We have also drawn the perpendiculars of length H1, H2, H3 on the diagonals EC and AC of the pentagon ABCDE so that we can easily find the area of the three triangles. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood how we find the area of different plane closed figures.